Last week, me and my classmates were lucky enough to meet a music video director, Jamie Fraves, who has done videos for people such as Coldplay, Radiohead, Sam Smith, and it was a really good chance to ask him any questions that we had about music videos and to talk to someone who was in the music industry. In this blog, I will talk about his answers to the questions that we asked him. What is it like winning an award as prestigious as an MTV Moon Man? Um, here, Jamie said that it's definitely not as glamorous for directors as it's all about the band and that no one was mentioning his name, that it was just all talking about Coldplay and that he actually went to bed not knowing that he won Best Director as he missed the section where they actually announced the winner. Do you know what the man laying down in the Radiohead Just video said? This was a question I was very excited to ask, ask Jamie as he's a music video that I found very interesting to watch. Um, when I asked him, he jokes around saying, like, do I really, really want to know like, which is like, the, just, the gist of the video, but he still would not tell anyone. He said that he did know the answer, but he didn't know if he wanted to share it, and he didn't even know if he'd tell his children. And he said he liked the fact that you have to watch it to start to the end, which he said is good in a music video, as you must grip your audience. He said that the answer is definitely logical, but he's also scared to tell people in case it did disappoint people. Um, and he also said that this video got him, it was his breakthrough video, and it was shown on the ITV chart show, but as it was a um, video you have to watch the whole way through, you couldn't just show half of it, so it's the first ever video to be shown in full on the ITV chart show. What is the treatment process like? Um, Jamie explained that he creates um, a treatment for all of his ideas, but he quite likes to use basic treatments instead of doing really long ones. He likes to just get to the point and sum it up in a few lines. He said it's varied from over the last 20 years because there's also like a budget cut now where there's not as much money spent on music videos. He says that he usually does treatments on his own ideas but sometimes he does them for other people. And that he used to work in a company called The Oil Factory. So he'd show them his treatments and they'd send them to the um, artists and other diet like the producers. Do you have a favourite part of the production process? Um, Jamie explained that he he found it quite hard to edit your stuff, his own stuff when he first started because the technology, there was one software called Avid and he said it was very hard to use. So people would used to give their footage to editors where they would then edit it and give it back to him. Whereas now it's easier to edit your own stuff because of the like, technology's changed and it's a lot more simpler and it can all be done at home now. Um, he said that he liked editing and having a final piece of work at the end of a project. That's what he liked about his job as well. What makes a great music video for you? Jamie said that um, he likes videos that don't follow others and that are imaginative and that you should use your own experiences in, in your videos so that it means something to you, not, you're not just trying to make something up. And he said that you should tell a good surprising story that won't bore your audience and that will actually interest them and make them want to watch it loads and loads of times. Do you have to like the song or artist to work on it? This is the question I wanted to ask Jamie because I wanted to know if directors actually had to be involved with the song and really enjoy it or if they just do it anyway. But he said if you're not a fan of the song it will not work as you will not be enthusiastic about it and really want a good product. He said if he was asked to do a music video, he'll listen to the song and then he'll decide um, if he wants to do it or not. How do you build up a friendship with an artist so they remember you? Um, so this Jamie said that you've got to act professional and don't be tricky and just simply make sure that the artists like you so they, they do really want to work with you again. But he said that recently quite a lot of artists now work with friends because they know that they can trust them and it's quite a nice way to work. Why did you choose a reverse narrative for The Scientist? I was very excited to ask this question because The Scientist video really, really got my attention and it was one, it's one of the only music videos that I've ever watched and watched again and again on repeat because it, it literally shocked me so much. He said that he always had the idea after the first time he played the song and he wanted a way of having a kind of happy ending where, where he could use a car crash. So obviously it doesn't end on the car crash itself, it ends where they're happy in the car. Um, he said that they sung, he, um, Chris Martin, the lead singer, 
of Coldplay had to learn the song backwards in order to do the reverse narrative and it took him two weeks to learn and he actually performed it live at a concert once because he learnt it so well so he did it as like a joke at a concert but Jamie said that they did make a mistake because of the way that they filmed the um, words being backwards so that when they reversed it forwards it didn't look right which he said he would change if he did it again how has the industry changed since working on your first video to your more recent work? He said that the cameras have changed a lot. Um, up to 2006, you would film on actual film, whereas now um, they all film on digital. And he said that Spotify, YouTube, streaming, illegal downloading all have affected the whole music industry so that there is now less money involved in it. So less money is put into the music videos, so their budgets are about a tenth of what they would used to have. So on average, a couple of um, years ago, the average would be 200,000, whereas the new average is about 20,000. What is your main advice for someone who wants to get into the production industry? This is the last question I asked Jamie, and I thought it was very important to get um, advice from someone who had done so well for themselves. He said, you must be excited to show someone your product, because if you're not excited about it yourself, you can't expect anyone else to be excited about it. Um, he also said that you've got to love it yourself or no one else will. Um, he said being nervous is normal when showing people and making some work, but you can't please everyone, which means you've got to have tough skin. If people are going to say bad things about it, you've just got to get over it. You've got to have drive and self-belief, and you've got to be your own harshest critic. So if you know something's wrong or you need to work harder, just you have to just do it, and hopefully it will all work out for the best.